Hi everyone, it's Shannon aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today we are back with another Dream Island tour and this one is a colorful city. So for any of you that love structured islands, this one is definitely for you. And I thought it'd be fun to just tour something with lots of color. I think it's a little different than what we usually see. So let's just get right into it. Okay, first things first, we are going to check out the island map and see what's going on here. So this island is called Folklore. This is by Afterglow Horizons or Lucy, who you may know from Instagram. They have really, really inspiring builds that they post on there. So I'm really excited to be touring their island. There's two resident reps on the island and then lots of cute villagers. We'll just kind of scroll through and see who's here on this island. I haven't seen Coco in a while. I actually really miss her i had her on some of my older islands so i'm excited to hopefully see her walking around this island it just looks super organized i think that's a lot of the times what we see with these more structured islands and i'm already just excited to get into it based on what this map looks like so let's begin okay so we have this orange airport over here and then right off the bat we have the entrance to this town and look at how beautiful this is I'm gonna have to open up the camera in a few different ways, but I love how I already feel immersed in this city. I love the use of all of the walls and this gorgeous pathing that they have down here. So let's see if we open up the camera, what different views we can get here. I also really like that we have this custom code with this pond that's really nice and just adds a little bit of contrast to some of these more beige tones that we're getting throughout the rest of the city but also just some other things to note is that this red fencing that they're using it's really different than what i think we see on a lot of islands and it's just cool to see some different colored items being used and just a different overall aesthetic so this code here that they're using is inspired by Colin Crossing's road code. So they did like a recolor on it and added in some of these pink and red flowers to fit their island a little bit better. And they do have this code up on their design MA code. So you can grab it from there if you have more of a pink islander or you just really like this uh, aesthetic here and love Colin's other codes. So, okay, I do not know which way to go first, but since we usually go to the left, let's just stick with that. I do like that there's a lot of directions you can go right at the entrance and the way that these like inclines are fitting in just like little puzzle pieces on this island. So we'll definitely be back over here, but let's see what's going on over to the left. I just can't get over the amount of detail on this island and the amount of realistic elements that they have here. It just feels like everything is really thought out and perfectly placed. I love the little bike over there as well as just some of the cars along the road. So we can go through here and see what's within this archway. And it looks like we have our first little shop. This looks like a bakery. Definitely feels like I'm getting some Italian street vibes over here. I think just with a lot of this like beige brick and all of the little kind of like bakeries and cafes that it seems like we're already coming across. This is really cute and I love just I don't know, I really like how contained it is. I feel like whenever there's a build that's either contained by um, fencing all around it or walls all around it, I just think it's a really nice way to break up your island. So that looks super nice. And also all of the trees just lining this pathway along with the different hedges is so lush it just really adds a lot of dimension to this overall island and then as we come over here we're seeing these pink cars which are actually so cute and of course fit this island's color palette so well i really like them over here i mean how cute would a pink car be I wonder if any of you guys in the comments have a pink car. That would be super cool because I've never even thought about um, having a like cool colored car before until now. So over here we have just a couple little cute seating areas with the bistro table. And this is actually where resident services is. And if you guys like the code, be sure to come over to the custom designs portal when you get here. But let's continue back over to the left side of the island and see what else is going on. This terraforming is really cool the way that they have this diagonal pathing that they laid out and then they kind of mimicked it on each side with the waterscaping that they're doing 
really pretty and then this actually leads you over to the peninsula which this is a really cool design for the peninsula i really like that this was just such a natural take on I guess what you would normally do on a peninsula and it's really tricky to terraform on these small areas but this is so cool it feels really magical over here i think just with some of the vines that they're using and the colors of these flowers i really really like how they did that for their peninsula super cute okay let's hop over here and get back onto the main pathing also this like fencing that they're using on the diagonal pathing, I think this is the best way to kind of place your fencing if you are going to do diagonal pathing. I really like how it looks and that staggered look is really pretty. Again, adding a lot of dimension to the space. I just love the way that they redid Collins Code to fit their island. It just feels really nice and there's something about Collins Code with by the way, when I'm talking about Colin, I'm talking about Colin Crossing, which a lot of us know um, him already, but he just makes these gorgeous road codes and they really just completely transform an island like we're seeing here. So over this way, it looks like we have a little grocery store or a convenience store and it is so cute. I love so many of these 2.0 items being used here and how nicely they just work on all of our islands. It's amazing how much these like new items added to our just like overall aesthetics and overall designs, just the possibilities that we have with our islands now when we got so many more I items. So I wish that Nintendo would continue to give us more items because it really does make a difference but over here we have another cute little area on the beach as well as this really beautiful water code with the yacht just docked right here which is really really nice so we have a truck which looks like it's leaving nook's cranny which makes a lot of sense maybe they just got a delivery and then over here we have a little extension to nook's with looks like maybe a bakery of sorts because we have lots of bread some pies and then all those storefronts all around which look really really good so i think i i was going to continue to the back left but i just saw able sisters over here and i figured we should check out the rest of the shopping district so just to open up the camera this is so pretty i think the way that lucy is laying out her codes and the different angles that we're seeing here just being made by the pathing that she's doing is so interesting and so creative i just think that it's really really amazing how she kind of goes about designing her islands and it feels kind of mathematical but also just like so so beautiful and artistic i cannot rave about lucy's designs enough i think before we get down there let's go up this incline back here and check out what else is up to the back left okay this is stunning so we have this kind of like I don't know what to call this. I guess this like walkway up here and this is going to lead us to the museum, but we get a really pretty view of the museum. I can't wait to get down there, but this is just gorgeous. The two inclines next to each other leading up to the museum. I feel like we've seen a lot of this maybe back when the first when the first um few like I, I guess like images were being shared of people's builds back in 2020. I saw a lot of double inclines, but I honestly have not seen it recently and it just looks so good. Such a great design trend. That was obviously a trend for a reason because it's such a great way to lay out a space or do something just, I guess, a cool composition. <laughs> Coming back here, we have just really great detail around the museum as well. We have this little fountain. And then if you come down here, you can actually access this whole little sunken area in front of the museum. So we have some of the yachts over here, as well as some little places to sit with the bistro tables. This is just stunning. I think this is my favorite area on the island. And coming up here, we can loop around and just really explore all of the details on this pathway as well. And again, we're getting a lot of greenery throughout this island also, which I've noted earlier in the video, but really makes a difference to add in lots of greenery with these bushes and trees all throughout the sides of the pathing. 
I think let's head up this way and okay so this would actually lead us back to residence services so why don't we actually go to the right side of the island now since we started with the left side so we're gonna kind of loop back up here by the entrance and let's see I think we'll head over Let's go straight back because I want to see what goes up here where this incline is and wow look at all this work with all of the walls and the towers this is just so good I always say this when I visit structured islands but I just honestly my brain does not work like this to even set up these more structured kinds of towns so i love touring these and just getting to see how creative all of you guys are so if you have a structured island definitely send it my way i would love to check it out but we have this little like kind of courtyard area using the pergola as a centerpiece and then lots of different food trucks and places to sit this is just so charming i really really like that and then coming down here it looks like we're seeing one of our first neighborhood areas which this just flowed really nicely with this incline that she placed and we have two villager houses this way perfectly placed along this pathing and then a little kind of shared courtyard or patio space for these villagers if we come back here i also love just like all of the little waterscaping that's going on along the pathing and this is back over by where abel sisters was and if we looped up here we had seen kind of where that was just to reorient myself and where we are on this island but we're going to continue over to the right look at how pretty this neighborhood is oh my goodness also the way that lucy has been able to place everything really perfectly is amazing like that incline feels perfectly aligned to this pathing and as we all know all of us that play animal crossing it is really hard to align anything in this game so kudos to lucy for doing this because i i don't know it is definitely really tricky to get things perfectly placed in this game Okay, so we have another kind of villager neighborhood over here, some more farmy elements with some of the crops, some more of these like regular little flowers throughout here, and you can follow this pathway down as well and see a couple more of the villager houses. And these look to have a more natural aesthetic. We're getting a lot of the green grass and just some more natural um, items and decoration around here. So really liking just this contrast with the rest of the island. Also along the sides of the path here, you can access some more of these more grassy areas, which is really, really nice. I think we missed a couple things to the back because I got distracted by this neighborhood. So let's actually see if we go back here where that incline takes us. Also, this is just such a beautiful layout for this um, pathing that we have. I really love this. Oh, it looks like we have a cul-de-sac area and wow oh my gosh this is beautiful i once again love the layout of the pathing but i just love that as a centerpiece lucy actually added in this incline with this little piece of land that has the gazebo on it this is such a fun way to think about centerpieces and i haven't actually seen many like cul-de-sacs that use a little like elevated centerpiece like that such a really fun idea that we have there oh look can we actually access this house as well this is super cool like i was saying we're getting some of these really like magical grassy areas or these more natural areas and i really like that i don't know i just really like this combination of items that Lucy is using. This aesthetic is super unique and I'm really really glad that we're touring this island. Let's kind of continue back to the end of this cul-de-sac and see a few more houses over here. All of the cliff decor and terraforming should not go unnoticed. I know that this is mostly a structured island but there is so much great terraforming on here as well. Just a ton of work. I think another thing Lucy's really good at is symmetry and we're definitely getting that all throughout the island like this build over here by the end of the cul-de-sac that's a, just a great way to kind of fill up some of that empty space that you have when you're designing a more circular build or a rounded build like we have here and then just such great detail all around these more like natural areas for these villager houses this is one of my favorite areas on this island as well this is just really really creative and beautiful 
And again, the colors on this island are just so fun and bright. And like I said before, I don't see a lot of really colorful islands. I know for me, I tend to stick to more neutral colors. So it is really fun to get to see these more colorful islands and how beautiful it can be if I ever decide to use more colors besides like I don't know brown and green which is obviously really pretty and this is just so so cute up here we have another little bakery little tables to sit at and then look at just all of the dimension that we're getting in this view here we have so many layers so much work that has just gone into building up this city it is really really amazing Let's see, let's go down here. I see that there's something over on that side of the pathing, but we'll check that out on our way back. So over here, we're gonna follow this pathing. And again, so many pretty green elements coming through here between the trees and then also that pine bonsai item. And oh, look, it looks like we have like a little dock area of sorts with some of these yachts and then more of these or maybe this is like a little fishing village over here because i'm seeing lots and lots of these um fish containers this is really cool maybe this is where i don't know some of the markets get their fish from but really cute all around back here we have another villager house really secluded and just once again, I can't say it enough, really, really beautiful. And if we come back here, we have one of the rep houses and look at this layout. They completely surrounded it by this farm. And like I said before, Lucy is great with these like kind of symmetrical areas, but also just these really cool compositions and designs and layouts in general that she comes up with. So I really like this pattern that she's making with the farm and the idea of surrounding the house with it. Such a cool way to approach that. If we come back over this way, let's see what we have over here. We have another little courtyard area, little place to sit with a fountain, perfectly lined with some of these flowers. And then if we come back here through the arches, whoa, look at how cool this is. I thought we were like at the back of the island already and the island just keeps going. It's, it feels so big. We have a little canal area with a movie theater that is so so cool so there's like that little boho brunch setup right in between these two bridges and a place to watch an outdoor movie if you come down here we have a canal um, kind of layout here with the two bridges and then on each side just some little bistro tables and places to sit i really love this whole like kind of european feel that this island has i am just a really really big fan of this this island if you couldn't tell yet so let's see behind the house here we it kind of continues with this farmy vibe so we have a tractor and then all of these weed fields in front of the campsite look at how cool this is i think you cannot go wrong with just placing a ton of weed fields like this and the campsite is right in front of the secret beach which is a great idea i have not actually seen that in a while and then i don't know what this item is i guess it's a volcano that i didn't even realize we had in the game but it just adds a little bit of dimension to the space which looks really cool so coming back around this way i think just behind here this is just the back right of the island so a couple little just like natural details throughout here really cute little hammock over by the beach also and if we follow this up and around the pathing continues throughout here i don't know if we came up this way yet yes we did by that other villager house but i think we just have a couple things left to see in the front of the island but this is just so inspiring and i always say this but even if an island seems like it's not your actual aesthetic or what you plan on doing for your island i always find that i can get inspiration from so many different types of themes and this is definitely one of those islands so let's see we definitely went back there already i think oh i see where we are there was this little kind of clothing shop over here on the side of this diagonal path which also just look at this view right here is so pretty we have this little clothing shop with the mannequin out here this definitely feels like a fancy store just with some of these display cases that we have and then look at this 
I think you could definitely see that Lucy is someone that is great at interiors as well because this layout here just looks like it would be beautiful inside of like a rep house or inside of a happy home paradise house. This is really, really pretty and creative. I mean, to put together all of these items and make it feel completely like a little boutique shop is just so amazing and inspiring. So let's loop back around this way and I think we're gonna head back over to the front of the island. Okay, so this is definitely over by, yes, this was the right of the entrance and I don't know if we ever went up here. I don't think we did. Okay, so I think this was the second villager house and just look at this layering that we have with these two inclines both in the frame. Oh, this just feels like a castle or like I've said in some other islands I've toured before even this one when I'm looking at structured islands it feels like everything fits together so perfectly like a puzzle piece and that is just so so satisfying to see oh whoa we have a whole nother area back here this is a little flower shop alleyway Look at all of the beautiful items being used here. So many different flower beds and flower pots. This is so good. And honestly, this was probably a really like hard space to design something for if Lucy was left with a, a rectangular area like this. And I love the idea of doing like an alleyway that's decorated on both sides with either some shops or storefronts. In this case, it's a flower shop. So, so pretty. And using those pergolas as little walkways as well is really nice. So I do think that we've seen everything on this island. I hope it gave you all some inspiration, whatever your theme may be. I know for me, I absolutely adored this island. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.